I found my thrill on Blueberry Hill, on Blueberry Hill, when I found you, Linda Edwards. There she is right there. <laughs> Linda Edwards is the artist who for 38 years created the whimsical big corner window displays at Blueberry Hill. She's co-owner there for those strolling along the Del Mar Loop. Linda, so nice to join us this morning, along with her equally creative daughter, Hope, the author of this new coffee table art book. It looks back at mom's creativity. And Hope, thanks for coming in as well. Thanks for having me. So had you always planned to do a, a book on your mom? Yes, we had started 25 years ago with taking photos back then and we, always with this in mind. And we you were just a little there. girl. Oh, right. Yeah. Well, that we started more, uh, well, I guess when I was in the 20s doing the actual photographs. I participated in the windows when I was a little girl. That is so yeah. cute. We're going to look at some of the photos right now. Linda, tell us what we're looking at right here. I think this was the wedding I actually attended back no. in the late 80s, isn't it? No, I think this is... The first one. This is the first one. The witches night out. It was a Halloween. Uh, it was witches getting ready to for their big night, and they were in a bedroom. They were all very beautiful. Yeah, we're and, gonna get a close up of another window now, so you can get okay. more of an idea of the creativity that went into this. Oh, oh look at this, these little people. What's that? This is. Ha it's called Happy Birthday, Martin, and it's Martin Luther King's birthday party, and. Uh, with cabbage patch dolls. Oh, that's cute. It, it, and it rotated. And I like the ones that were live, where you actually yeah. would, would have to spin it out. This is a really nice looking, what is that, 1950s kitchen? <laughs> yeah, so it's the Easter Bunny's kitchen. Oh. And that one was live. Oh, look at all the bunnies there. Where the bunnies would dye the eggs. And, and people, would they, they, they got used to this. How often would you change your windows out? Well, in the heyday, like every three weeks, and, um, and and then I would repeat some. Like at this Easter Bunny's Kitchen, I did many years. Many years, and you stayed topical. Like if there was something in the news, I know that uh, when Pope John Paul II came here, <laughs> you had a pope in the window, and oh. it was a bunch of people standing there with the bodyguards and. People yeah. like, oh my gosh, is that really the Pope? <laughs> What's he doing in, in, at Blueberry Hill? You know, well, it looks so realistic. Him, we called him a Pope impersonator. Yes. <laughs> there, there are some, too, some of the Halloween ones we can't show you because we're rated G here at Fox 2. <laughs> so Hope, what was your favorite? We, we, we've got some more pictures we can look at right here. And did, did you have a favorite out of those? I did. I think it's one we can't show, but it was a, the <laughs> dentist uh, in the terrifying dentist chair on Halloween, and you people, passersby, could walk into the window, get there, and lie in the dentist chair and have their teeth worked on by a dentist who had a, some power tools and a crowbar, and there was... So it was blood. realistic. Yeah. Like, <laughs> yeah. You're right. Well, this is a heavy book. It's beautiful. It's a coffee table book. And it's all about the window displays, the art of Linda Edwards right here. And you're going to have a book signing this Saturday. This Saturday. One to four at it, Blueberry Hill. In the window. In the window. Oh, my gosh. So you're still creating the windows, and this will be the latest. Yeah. Thank you so much for both coming in. Thank you, John. And, and good luck with the book, Hope. Thank you it's so gonna, much. I think it's going to be a great Christmas gift. Yeah, I think so, too. Yeah. We look like a window display right here, don't we? Yeah. <laughs> take a good look because okay. we're disappearing. We're going to take a little break. We'll be right back.